Okay, so my bed is made. The nightstands are cleared off for the most part. My phone's over there. But now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. I feel like I do a lot of like vlogging on my vlog channel, but I rarely do it over here. And I know not everyone follows me over there. So I thought I'd just do like a real quick get ready with me. So now I'm gonna work on my hair and makeup. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm like halfway ready. So like my hair and makeup and all that is done, but now I need to get dressed. Um, I had a ThreadUp order come in and I do wanna thank ThreadUp for sponsoring this part of today's video. I always love their packaging and it came in a lot prettier, just so you know. I demolished it when I opened it <laughs> to see what was inside. So this is actually one of their goodie boxes, which I think is so cool. I can't show that because my address is on it. Um, Basically, they will send you 10 items. You take like a short little style quiz and answer questions. And there's even like a spot for you to write down. So like I like to put, you know, I don't like to spend over $20 for a top and I only wear these colors, but you'll answer tons of questions and then you can leave any additional information. And then they send you stuff, which at first made me super, super nervous, but it actually got me just a little bit, like they hit it on the nail head with my style, but they gave me a few wild cards, which I ended up loving. So now I can start looking for those when I'm shopping so I thought it was really cool it's only ten dollars and then they send it to you and then that ten dollars goes towards a credit on anything you choose and if there's things you don't want they send a prepaid label and you just put it back in the box put on the free label and ship it back and you just pay for the items you keep so it's super cool so I'm gonna try on two outfits for you guys Okay, so here's the first look. I will say this is my wild card, and I know for some of you guys, you're probably giggling, like drinking your coffee right now. But for me, like, I don't wear white often, <laughs> and I don't wear normally shorter tops or that tie, but this is super flattering. Like, if I wouldn't have done this little goodie box, I wouldn't have realized how flattering this style is for, like, my body. Um, so I feel like my stylist nailed it, and now I know to start, like, searching for shops this way. I feel like it's a good way to, like, try something new, even different brands. This isn't a brand I'd normally wear, but I'm like in love with it. I'll start adding them to like my favorites when I'm searching. And then my jeans are a brand um, that I like. I sent those and you send all your sizes, but these are actually brand new. Like the tags are still on them. So let's talk about prices real fast, just so you guys can see. So I don't think I touched on this yet. <laughs> ThreadUp is like an online thrift store and they have the best pieces. I mean, some of them are used, some of them are new. It's, I shop two places and this is one of them. Like I shop them all the time. You know, especially now in stores, you can't try on anyways. It just gets shipped to you. What you don't like, you can just ship back with a prepaid shipping label. 
so easy. You can search all your favorite brands or have them pick out some so that you guys can get some new styles like me because I wear the same thing over and over. So let's talk about this top real fast. It's a Madewell and the estimated retail price was $40 and it was $16.99. So she stayed right on point. I was like, I don't like spending more than $20 on my tops and she nailed it. And then my jeans, which are brand new, they're Ann Taylor Loft. The estimated retail was $69 and they were $22.99 for a brand new pair of jeans. They fit perfect. I love them. Let's try on the next look. Okay, and here is look two. I feel like my stylist nailed it. I just feel even fancy saying I have a stylist. I mean, if you guys do this, we all have our own stylist shopping. Um, but anyways, cardigans I love. I love wearing them with leggings just so they hide this area. <laughs> and I also like to wear them like in the evenings or in the mornings when it's chilly and I just have pajamas on. I just feel like they're cozy. And then she blacked me out, which you guys know I love. Black and gray for the win. So we won't talk anymore about my outfit because you guys know this is like my go-to thing. Okay, the cardigan is a New Day cardigan and the estimated retail was $37. I got it for $17.99. The black gap top right here that I love, it's stretchy, it's even long, so if I need to take this off, I can pull it down some. Um, it's estimated retail was $60, and I got it for $17.99. And then the pants, let's see here, were um, Fabletics, and they were originally $45, and they are $17.99 now. So I feel like she did awesome. Everything I asked, my price points, she did great. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this outfit on because it's perfect, it's a little chilly today, it's a win-win. But if you guys just click the link down below in my description box, it's gonna take you straight to the goodie boxes. Like I said, you just take a short quiz and they'll send you 10 goodies. It was the best experience and honestly, I was scared to death of what they're gonna send me because I feel like I'm very particular on what I wear and I'm so happy with the pieces I got. So just click on that link and like I said, it is $10, but that will be a credit in your account. So whatever you buy, like say you buy a $20 top, it'll only cost you 10 because the credit will go towards it. And any of the pieces you don't want, you just stick right back in the box and there's a free shipping label. So it's a win-win. So definitely check them out. Click on that link down below. And thanks again to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. Okay. Now we need to talk. Don't worry about my dirty laundry or my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I took some of the pink out guys. Like I got the itch to switch last night. Chase actually prefers the pink more than me, which is funny. But to me, it's just so, I don't know, it's just more calming this way. I don't know, it may come back. I have a lot of it in my office here. I'll show you real fast before we go on to the next thing. So a lot of the pink is in here. The pink pillow, the matching pillow over here, it's actually perfect for this space. And then I added a lot more, oh, sorry, I ran into the wall. A lot more of the pink to my little Bye-bye Nook. Bye-bye pink. It may come back. I know some of you were like, I'm going to be so sad when you take it out. And I think it lasted two weeks and that was it. But do you guys notice anything different other than the pink's gone? The bar stools. Okay, so we got these recovered. I talked about this in a vlog over on my vlog channel. So if you're not following me over there, definitely make sure you're following me because I get to talk more like this. Um, it's just more of a casual video that I do over there. But I did have my dad recover these. So he um, built custom upholstery. He's done it my whole life. He started when he was 14. So we've always had the coolest pieces in our house. So he didn't like the color of our bar stools. He was like, those have to go. <laughs> so I went and picked out fabric and he recovered them for me and they look so good. So this is the color I wanted originally, but they were so much more money. I was like, eh, I'll just settle with like the tanny beige color but it does look beautiful. I love them. I love the material better. The other ones were velvet. And so they were really hard to clean and they always look dirty. Cause like if your hand touched them, like the fabric moved different ways, but he has a few different YouTube channels, but, um, I need to link a few of them down below, but I'm going to show you the clips of him reupholstering these real fast, just so you can see kind of how it's done. I thought you guys would find it interesting. So roll those clips now. Tell you that I love you 100 times a day. You'll get tired of my voice. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much. So 
anyways, that's how they're made. I thought it was super cool. I thought you guys would just enjoy seeing the process. He is so talented. But we're gonna go on to the next part of today, which is, I don't know, I probably need to start some laundry and then we're gonna be leaving here in a little bit, but I have some more cleaning to do. Chase has a home project he needs to work on. Um, basically our faucets and our bathrooms are like not working now. <laughs> so we've been here, what, three months, four months? I think three months, he's not listening to me. But anyways, they're just messing up. So I'll show you how they're messing up later and then how he's fixing them. We'll probably eventually have to um, just replace all of them, but that's like the last thing we wanna do when we just bought them for the new house. So we're just making them work for now, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. I'm gonna tell you that I need Okay, it's a little bit later in the day. We had to go pick up Savannah from her grandma's. Her cousins were in town and they've been hanging out there for spring break. So I have all of her laundry to do and I just need to kind of tidy up this whole laundry room, mud room, and Tiger's down here having lunch. <laughs> Okay, so I have all of her dirty clothes going. That room's all clean. Now I need to come across here into the kitchen and do a little speed clean in here. I'm out of feels, but I guess I'm waiting around for something real. I'm going crazy, like what's the deal? Cause I want you to show me what you feel. You're watching. Like 
Okay, so I have the laundry started, the house picked up, I already feel so much better. It's crazy, it's like 70 degrees here, so I'd love to be like outside taking a walk, but it is so windy. Like my plants are blowing over. I don't know, we can't even take the boys for like a walk. They can play outside, but even Tiger, I'm like, he's gonna blow away. <laughs> I don't know, it's just crazy weather here in Oklahoma, but I'm not complaining. As long as it's not negative 15, I will take the wind. But um, Chase is about to start the project in the bathroom. Let me just take you in there and kind of show you what our issue is. Okay, so this is our powder room bathroom, just for instance. I don't ever mind that these don't line up. They should, but we just need them to work. So typically when we turn them on, see that? I turned it on and it's just loose and it falls off. Sometimes you turn it on and it just stays on. Like you can't get it to turn off. So. That is one of the issues <laughs> that we're having. Let me do this one. So this one turns on and then it typically, see like that, it spins too much. And so now it stays on. And typically when guests are in here, they turn it on a lot higher. So it's on like full blast and they can't turn it off. I'm showing uh, them our issue. Yeah, the sink, so, all of the faucets have been this way. Two of them were perfect and two of them were broken from the get-go and then I feel like the two that we had no issues with I just thought the other two were installed wrong now They're all starting to have issues yeah. this one We caught in the beginning even before we bought the house and they said they fixed it Yeah, we had the plumber come out that yeah. installed it and he actually tightened it up mm -hmm. and it worked for two days And then it gets loose and so that's what I do I tighten it up and mm -hmm. it's good for a couple of days and then it does this again So we're definitely gonna have to replace it at some point, but like I said <laughs> This is new house life right here. We're going to have to figure this out. If you guys have any suggestions other than replacing everything, let me know if there's like, if your husband's a plumber and he knows how to fix this issue, please let us know. So Chase is going to go ahead and fix these the best he can for now, like how he's been tightening them. But I think we decided we're going to just go ahead and replace them. We've been in here three months and it's just been a nightmare with those. The problem is, is I love them. Like I love the color. I love the style. They just keep breaking and I think I like it freaks me out to go order more because I had to order so many to get them in. Anytime you're searching for golds, there are so many different styles and colors and textures of gold. So we're gonna like be starting that process all over again of trying to find the right one. And now that the quartz has um, been cut, like we have to get that same style. Does that make sense? So like. If you guys are building a house, get ones that just have like one knob. Like you just lift it and adjust it to do the hot and the cold. If I could do it over again, I would do that. But we can't now because we have three holes drilled. So we have to have a cold, the water, and then the hot. Like, you know what I mean? So that's what we're stuck with, three holes. If I could do it again though, for anybody building or remodeling, if you're doing new countertops, just do the one. I think it would be so much easier. Like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless Okay, so Chase fixed it, hopefully for the last time. I told him right <laughs> we're gonna try to order new ones. So see how it's facing it out this yes. way like it should. So how it should work is you turn it in like that, which is perfect, yeah. and then you just shut it off like that. So it'll stay like this for about two or three days, and then it loosens up somewhere. I've got it so tight underneath, um, 
this thing will come unscrewed, but somehow the way it gets used, I think it gets pushed too far maybe, and then it's just done after that until I get under there and tighten it back up. But it works great, as you can see, but it only does that for two or three days. Yep, so at least we're fixed for today. <laughs> fixed for today. <laughs> Look, right there, I can see you guys. Wait, I can't see where my hand is. George is right there. Look at him. <laughs> is he peeking through? He is. There they are. They always make the shot, even if they're behind me. They're good at that. Okay, so Chase's hands were kind of dirty from working on that, so I'm gonna put all the toilet paper away just down here underneath the sink. Okay, so I just finished up all of Savannah's laundry. What's nice is as your kids get older, they do it all. So like they fold it themselves. <laughs> so I do wash it and dry it for her, but I'll just go stick this in her bedroom and she'll fold everything and hang it and put it away in her drawers. And it is so nice. That's Tiger over there drinking water, just in case you're wondering <laughs> what that noise is. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. My camera is about to die. I can see the red light flashing at me, but let me know down below in the comments section if you like this style video. It's just a little more casual and vloggish, so let me know what your thoughts are. And don't forget to click on the link down below for the ThreadUp $10 goodie box and check it out. If you do get it, I would love for you to tag me. I'd love to know what you guys think about it, but definitely check out that link down below in my description box, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.